All right. Got a, lot, got a lot to get through today, man. Sunday fun day, and here's hoping EA keep the fun going. What's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode, yet another episode of The Poor Man Road to Glory. Thank you, by the way, to those of you on YouTube still showing love to the channel. Uh, I think, I mean, I think even though my channel is dead and buried, there's still, oh, well, people would say or constantly send me tweets saying I'm a washed up YouTuber. Still, there's 20 to 30,000 people that watch every single upload I put. And then some days we get 40 to 50,000 human beings that watch the upload. So thank you. If you're one of those people that watches my YouTube content, even though I'm a washed up Canadian twat, nonce, whatever the fuck else gets sent my way on Twitter. I appreciate you guys. Y'all are beautiful. God bless. If you're excited for the episode, smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, feel free to do so as well. It should be a good day. We've got the full La Liga SBC to go through. Okay, so that's 20 big packs to open. Yesterday, we got another walkout team of the season. And was it yesterday that I packed Leo Messi? No, it wasn't. It was the day It was the day before, wasn't it? Anyways, pack luck's been good. It's just not been good in terms of... Um, Premier League team of the season. So, 6 p.m. content drop from UK, uh, from UK, from EA, 6 p.m. UK content drop from EA should be in three minutes. Here's hoping we get a guaranteed Premier League team of the season. Sunday is usually the day where we get a lot of um, repeatable things, either a Premier League team of the season SBC, or I'm at least hoping we get a league specific upgrade pack set. So the Premier League 25K packs that they did in previous uh, team of the year, et cetera, et cetera. I hope we get that again. Uh, 81 plus packs or 81 to 86 packs. Stuff we can grind and just have fun with as a community that grinds the game outside of gameplay would be amazing. Uh, speaking of gameplay as well, we've turned it around. As you guys know, we ended yesterday's episode. I was 12 and eight, but at one point yesterday, I was 10 wins, eight losses. Now we've really turned it around at 10 wins, eight losses. The way I was losing yesterday, uh, the, the bad FIFA I was playing, how just terrible I felt as a content creator for FIFA in general. I didn't think we we're going to get gold too. Now, six games remaining. We've managed to go six wins in a row to 16 and eight. We're one win away, of course, from goal two. I am well within my abilities to lose six straight games, and we finish on 16 and 14 from 16 and 8. I, I am capable of doing that because I'm a moron. Here's hoping I don't. The, the, the goal for every weekend from here is to try and get goal two. That's the best for efficiency. And then team of the season from the Major League Red Player Picks. Goal two, you get two guaranteed Red Player Picks from the Premier League team of the season for this week. So I really want to get that. We're one to win away from that. And then when we achieve that one win, or hopefully if we achieve that one win, we'll see where we stand with however many games we have remaining. So we're one minute away from the 6 p.m. Uh, content drop. Now, I did yesterday complete the uh, Declan Rice card. I don't know if I'm ever going to use him, but he looks not bad, honestly. He looks like a decent-ish card. The fact that he's shushing is a bit trolly as well, so I kind of kind of like that card. So we got him done. And then uh, we also did, I did it late last night on my own time just because I wanted to play more FIFA. Imagine that. I played like 15 or 18 games yesterday of FIFA. And then late at night, I was like, I want to play more FIFA because I am a psychomaniac. So I got a few more wins needed uh, to get that Bafatembi Gomis. Not sure if I'm ever going to use either one of those cards. At best, they might end up just being SBC fodder. So there is the dream team still doing well for us. And let's see. It is 6 p.m. I'm not going to look at my chat. We've got, I've got a lot of packs to open here, no matter what. No matter what content EA gives us, I've got a lot of packs. And in fact, if they give us no good content for today, we'll open 10 of the La Liga packs. Then I'm going to go play the penultimate, hopefully the penultimate, if that's even the right word, game of champs for you guys, for YouTube. I apologize if I get toxic and swear and get angry and whatever, but we'll do that. Try and get gold two, succeed or fail. Then we'll come back and get the final 10 La Liga packs for the episode. So... What do you have for us today on a Sunday? This is... They haven't given us... They have not given us the Prem. So, from previous years, we used to get two guaranteed Major League SBCs. Team of the Season Pack SBCs. Previous years. Last year, we got a Premier League Team of the Season SBC on the Sunday and one on Tuesday. So, last week, they turned down the Community Team of the Season from two a week to one. And it's looking like this week as well. I guess EA don't want people to have a lot of good players in their club outside of spending money on FIFA points. But it looks like, unless I'm wrong, we're only going to get one a week now for Major Leagues instead of the two that we got in previous years. Which is a bit disappointing to say the least. So today, that better not be all we get as a community, man. No, 
No way. Where? Uh, dude, like, I'm not one, I'm not one to shit talk too much, but... Toxic dudes? I don't think that's toxic, right? It's just calling it as it is. Is that toxic? Or is it me just pointing out facts? That's not toxic, right? I don't think that's toxic. Of course, this will put me further down the do not work with Nick 2018 20 list. Yes, that's toxic. Wow, okay. Well, that might be an EA employee in the chat. I'm not sure. Um, I don't see this as toxic. I see this as constructive criticism. If they want people to stay engaged during one of the biggest times of year in terms of the team of the season, I understand EA Sports. I understand that you guys want everybody to shift over here. You want everybody over here. I get I get that. I, I understand. They're a business. They're trying to earn money. Um, I get that. You want to shift people over here. You want to, you know, you want people in these areas. I get that. But a way to have even people go to these areas is to have the repeatable SBCs where you can grind out and get yourself something, something semi-decent from repeatable packs. A way to rinse your club of all the items you have in your club. So then when you go through 20 81 plus packs and you've rinsed your club, guess what? A lot of the time people will be like, all right, let me go add some more FIFA points to restock my club of players so I can do more 81 plus SBCs. Now, what are we doing? It's Sunday. I didn't talk shit on Friday when you guys didn't release any, a single goddamn thing in terms of repeatable SBCs, because I was like, okay, it's day one of your promotion. You want to make your money on a Friday? I get it. Previous years, you did the same. Saturday, I didn't even talk shit on Saturday when you released nothing, because I'm like, okay, well, it's kind of weird that on day two, they haven't released any repeatable stuff, but again, in previous years, usually they do Sunday, so it is what it is. Well, here we fucking are on a Sunday. What's up, dudes? Can we pull our heads out of our asses? Please. Like, I, I understand you want to make money, and I'm all for that. It's fine. But you gotta you gotta have that yin and yang, man. You gotta have that balance of SBCs and shit. Your gameplay is horrifying. It's terrible. If people are so dedicated to your game and putting themselves through terrible gameplay, at least reciprocate a little bit with these repeatable SBCs. That's all I'm asking, man. That's all I'm asking. Anyways, let me go have a look at this SPL uh, SBC. I've packed like six of these guys, right? Do I need to do this? Does anybody need to do this? That's the question. It's untradeable, right? Okay, so first things first, that's a fair, that's a fair, that's a fair pack. That's absolutely worth anybody's time. I, I don't care how good your pack luck has been. I will, even though I'm calling you out on their stupid bullshit that they tend to do a lot through these promos, I will also give them a bit of credit. That's that's a really, really good thing to do. That's 80 rated is 70 chem. You can do that from any league. For any league, right? I mean, realistically, I think I could get this done just from the Ukrainian league. Um, let me fill it with Ukrainian league players and then we'll, we'll adjust. Okay, maybe not from the Ukrainian league outright. That might be a bit harder to do, but I can get a super link going here, boom. Boom. Um, and maybe even boom. Boom. Okay. 
Good shit. And then Turkish League, we gotta work through still. So I don't wanna I don't wanna rush through the Turkish League just yet. Uh, I will though. If EA decide to wake up and give us repeatable SBCs, I will rinse all of my golds multiple times over. The only golds I won't rinse will be um the main league, the main four or five league SBCs, because I do those so often. Uh well, I mean, ironically, we could do the Saudi League. I've now finished up using these players. I'm okay with this. Let's do this. Saudi League, we've worked through again. Um, okay. Do I have a right mid? I will get rid of the untradeables too. Okay. So I guess we're going to start off the episode with a, uh, with a pack. Just trying to make sure the untradeables go first. That, that, get the link up there with the Brazilians. Center back. I'm getting, I'm going to get way more chem than I even need here out of this, but that's okay too. Oh, we're off by, we're off by one rating, huh? But I got tons. Is that too much? Okay, let me, does it, this guy's worth what? Like a thousand coins? Probably not even. Well, I mean, he he's like 2K. Not even. He's like 1,500 coins. He's out of here. See you later, Habibi. All right. Done deal. Done deal. Wow, that's actually kind of crazy that for some fun content, we might all have to wait. Outside of us doing our own thing, right? Grinding League SBC, silver upgrade packs, doing stuff where we get to open packs. To me, it's insane that it's up to me and you guys... And content creators out there, and just general users of the game, to find fun in this game. Like, the fact that EA aren't enticing their community with fun, repeatable things, and we have to come up with endless ideas. League SBC grind for fun packs, bronze packs for a little bit of fun packs, you know? Community games, themed games. Like, it's, it's, it's so weird to me that a billion dollar organization doesn't have these types of things set up themselves. Um... I know weekly objectives are one part of it, but specifically SBCs. Anyways, so it's going to be up to us to have some fun with the game over the next couple of days. And then here's hoping, I assume by Tuesday, not only do we get a Premier League uh, Team of the Season SBC, but I guess maybe by Tuesday they give us repeatable SBCs? So we can grind repeatable SBCs for one or two days until the Premier League is gone instead of infinitely? Unfortunate, man. Super unfortunate. Look at the requirements of Townsend. I will. All right, we got one usable player there. All right, here we go. Townsend is out. Oh, we got a walkout. No surprise there, I guess. I think that's actually one of the decent ones. An 87 Amrabat. Now, I could have used him in the uh, games against viewers yesterday <clears throat> for Bafetembi Gomis, but that's not a bad card. That's not bad at all. I'll take that. Considering I spent, what, 5,000 coins of actual player value? Maybe not even. Maybe 6,000 coins to get an 87 Amrabat. I'm assuming he's like 10k or discard. But I'll take it. I'll take it. That counts. We're going to put that into the uh, team of the season count because it's from a pack. Obviously, if you complete, like, all the players I've completed from SBCs, I'm not going to count in the uh, team of the season. Yeah, about 25 to 30k. Okay, you know what? On second, on second view, that's relatively shit. Two-star weak foot, three-star skills is useless. I mean, he fits the crossing meta, I guess. Pretty good heading accuracy as well, which is kind of fun for those that like to abuse even more of the crossing meta. Anyways, that's got, for me, that's undoubtedly going to end up being SBC fodder or maybe used for like certain weekly objectives if I need to. Good for SBCs. Yep, yeah, exactly. That might help us for the Premier League SBC, really. Okay. So, uh, I want to update this as well. And in fact, sorry, YouTube, you guys are going to have to watch me do this real quick as well. So, we're on 20. I'm going to bring back the alerts. Um, pack counts. 
So that's 21. Let's see. Holy shit! God damn, that's so loud. Thank you guys so much for the resubs, by the way. Marco, Pork is sweaty. Pork is sweaty. Do you have the VIP badge, dude? You should. If you're a 60 plus month sub, you get a honorary VIP badge where you can unsub to the channel. You get all the benefits for life now. Uh, as a five year supporter of the channel, we give you the VIP badge. You can then stay in sub chat and all of that stuff. Let me know though, dude. I don't remember if I gave one to you or not. I will give you that VIP badge if you don't have it already. Thank you, sir. LFC, please. Dom, Bass, Lloyd. Um, where are we at here? Nate, Sir Garfunkel, Jaja, Don Ray, Land, GFC Cabello, Andrew. Thank you. Appreciate you. God bless, man. Yeah, let me know if you guys see him in the chat if he has one or not, okay? <clears throat> let me know if he has it. So we're going to go to squad selector here. And go to Team of the Season Ting. Dead name, but anyways. Okay, let's add any and all of the specials we've hit. And we can adjust the squad as need be. Okay, so we packed this guy on Friday. Thought it was Team of the Season Fernandinho. Still upset about it. Uh, packed this guy yesterday, was it? Or is it the day before? Packed this guy about 19 times. And untradeable. There we go. So these guys don't don't count at all from the team of the season pack pulls, of course. Zlatan Batch. Is that it, dudes? I think so. Tutti Fruity Mustai. Thank you guys. Appreciate you, Andrew. Thank you. This guy. Oh my god. Does Taylor even matter even even? Okay. Okay. Uh, so we can put him into the pack pull setup. What else? We can put him into the pack pull setup. Uh, can put him into the pack pull setup. Go. Um, no pack pulls. Okay, so then what I want to do is SBC fodder, or if you will, or, or just stuff we got from weeklies or SBCs. You put them here. So from right to left. Do, did I get Anana from weekly objectives or did I get him from a pack? I think it was from weeklies, right, dudes? I think so. Um, obviously, the terrible Mbabu we got from an SBC, so he doesn't go into the main squad. Same thing with Odegaard. Odegaard was okay, actually. Not the greatest of cards, but all right. Kind of fun to use. I think he was really cheap to get, so he was worth it for me. And then, yeah, like this guy was a weekly, so I don't even need to include him in the team. And then the rest are fine. There we go. So that covers, I mean, I've had, like I said, a few duplicates, but that covers the main pulls. That covers the main pulls so far from what are we on? Like 10 days of team of the season. And at this point, maybe not thousands of packs yet, but we're getting there. Three, four, five, six, seven hundred 700 packs. That's where we're at right now. It could be worse. Am I right, dudes? At the end of the hey, day, it, it could be worse. Rodrigo! Hey, Nick. Looks like Sunday content of shit. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate the 400. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I, uh, I am surprised. I wasn't surprised on Friday or Saturday because I was expecting not to get anything really community driven anything really fun for for releases outside of the weeklies of course the weeklies you, you can't ignore the fact that the weeklies at least are are, are pretty cool but yeah I, i'm surprised today they didn't drop the the repeatables man anyways doesn't matter we got content dudes league sbc's out the wazoo come on heavy b Okay, that's terrible. Oh yeah, I forgot about Townsend, dudes. My bad. Do you want me to go look at Townsend? Can do. 
Uh, okay, so La Liga players we're putting into the trade pile again, right? Drag them back in as we go. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Porto players are expensive still? No. Can confirm they are not. All right, I'll show you. I'll show you Townsend. I mean, I've got two different versions of Townsend, so I don't need them. Is that like you know what, man? Get out of my face. If I'm seeing cards expiring at six fifty, no bid. There's no point listing. Russian league. Why did I think that was uh, Saudi league for some reason? Weird. All right, we'll go check Townsend and then get to the uh, get to the pack. Sorry, dudes. Uh... Please tell me I remembered to do. Please tell me I remembered to do the loyalty on the. Uh... Oh man, I might not have. You know. All right, Andros Townsend, 88 rated. I you I I have his 84 red card. I've used him for like 10, 15 games. He's all right, not bad. You know, four star, four star makes him decent. You know, feels like a, a B Tech Leo Messi. No, not even a B Tech. Maybe like a a uh, a Z Tech Lionel Messi. Just because he's left footed and has four star, four star. That's about it. So stamina is all right. Strength jumping heading is horrendous. Balance is pretty dog shit as well for someone of his play style. And he's not that short. That balance is terrible. He's just gonna get bullied off the ball. That balance and his height mixed with his strength, he's going to get shoved off the ball all the time. So that's a problem. So then what are we talking about price-wise? Got to be cheap. I'm not going to say anything. You know why? Because the comment section in this video, just like when I criticize EA when they do other things poorly, my comment section will just be Nick, EA shut the fuck up and just be happy. You're toxic. Hard for scoring an insane volley against City earlier this season. Also, EA, I Alex give him 71 volleys. If I wasn't a Palace fan, I would avoid this Townsend at all costs. He's so ridiculously overpriced. Wait, where where's the hypocrisy here? Earn a team of the season moments Townsend celebrating his amazing goal versus Man City, which was that psycho volley. <laughs> no, dude, no, they didn't. Oh my God, I didn't even realize that. Thank you for bringing that up. Give him a moments card for his volley this year and they give him 71 volleys and they make him 200K. <laughs> This SBC right here, again, comment section that are going to get offended by me trolling EA ever so slightly. This SBC is the perfect definition of FIFA 19 this year in terms of EA and how they run the game. This right here, the overpricedness of the SBC, the fact that they give the weirdest team of the season for just such a random moment, but they give a team of the season for an incredible volley, and then they give that player that gets the card for an incredible volley... 71 volleys that's just incredible i'm not even upset that's just fantastic so anyways moving on moving on amazing amazing work hey, as Bash. always potten brand was like 100k right a much better card for literally half the price awkward yeah I, I don't i don't remember the brand i didn't i didn't do him i think i did his loan i will be doing the king kai though that card looks lovely how much is okay there's a, i know they're not well, they're, they're similar in some ways, actually. What's that King Kai card worth, dudes? Walk out, please. Oh, it's a wait. What the hell is that? A walk out? Who's this? Who the fuck is? Bro, for a second, I'm like, wait, did Aguero get him out of the match? Who's getting him? No, he's the team of the season in my head. I'm like, who could it be, Correa? Wait, is he 80,000 coins? Really? It's not a bad card. If I ever need an Argentinian. Yeah, it's another will any lookalike, isn't it? Um, if I if I need another Argentinian for something or other, that works. I'm done selling off. Oh, no, never mind. You meant, you meant King Kai's player of the month is 80k. Oh, that's so awkward. This guy's 15k? <laughs> okay. My Twitch chat were confusing me there. Jimbo, thank you for the 18, man. 
Get some hearts in the chat for Jimbo, dude. Let's try and keep that mood up for you, my man. I'll do my best, bro. Hamiltons, thank you for the 13. Thomas, thank you for the 11. Appreciate you. Okay. Walkout and another 84. Hey, buddy. What's up, man? I bet you this card... Oh, my God. This one has 59 volleys. So EA and their infinite wisdom are like, see, Nick? We're justified for giving them 71. Because we gave them plus, quick maths, 12 on his volleys. <laughs> Woo! Got Terum? I should probably keep him, man. Sell him, he's valuable? Uh, I'm good. I do League SBCs, so there's no need to sell. I'll use him in my, uh, in my, uh, a Crystal Palace. Wait, what did I call? What do I call Crystal Palace that pisses people off? Cardiff? No, I call Cardiff Crystal Palace, don't I? He's about 4K. That's cool. That's great. That's amazing. He'll go right in my club and stay there until I use him for a League SBC. Sell rare contracts for 200 coins. List, uh, missing out on huge money. No, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm missing out on having my trade pile stacked full of shit that takes forever to sell. And I don't, I am not, I'm not, I'm not concerned on missing out on that. It's 4k though. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me. You're such a sassy bitch, Nick. I'll fuck you up, dude. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll wheel kick sass you in the face. How about that? Is that sass enough for you? All right. From 18 and 5 to 19 and 10. Oof. Yeah, I mean, I went from 9 and 3 to 10 and 8, so I know I know that feel, my dude. I know that feel. I know that feel. Actually, no. I went from 9 and 2 to 10 and 8. Holy God, I didn't realize how bad that run was, mid like my mid-game run. Jeez, I didn't realize that, man. That's crazy. Yeah, we went from 9-2 and two to 10-8. and eight. Oh, I'm surprised I still have an office, man. Yesterday, all I did on stream was lose and then have chat constantly laughing at me losing. I don't know how I didn't chainsaw my office to pieces yesterday. I ended my stream after getting incredibly frustrated. But I ended my stream yesterday thinking, man, I'm such a piece of shit human being, dude. But in hindsight, I should be proud of myself for not chainsawing my office to pieces. I think we did good. There's incredible, incredible willpower there. Feels good to do that. Yeah, the Utrecht left backs aren't worth anything, dude. There's no need to get hyped about it. Only the center backs are worth anything. Unfortunately. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, well. I'm supposed to be storing those guys. Cheese ball fluff. Great name. Thank you for the 12 months, dude. Uh, eccentric meat. Thank you for the 100 bits. Haven't logged into FUT yet today. How are you enjoying the Premier League Team of the Season guaranteed SBC and the uh, repeatable upgrade SBCs? Uh, lol. There's no way EA would actually throw away everything that made Team of the Season great last year. So I can't wait to enjoy it after work. Who's telling him? Am I telling him or are you guys telling him? <laughs> oh, he's going to be really, 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 really upset, dude. Shit, wrong scene. Who's telling him, bros? <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't bear to do it. Unreleased Perch, thank you for the 100 bits. Team of the Season, DNA has shit free kick accuracy yet scores three this season. Eh, just EA things. Just EA things, my dude. Thanks for the sub! Holy shit, they're all duplicate. That is impressive. Okay, so remember, La Liga players were putting on the trade pile. Uh, Hoover with the four years. Thank you for the ear melt, my dude. Thank you, Hoover. Appreciate you, hubby beat. Oh, uh, actually, maybe because of the marquee matchup. Hold on. I don't want to get rid of that. Uh... But it is Benfica, right? Maybe not. 82 rated. Maybe that. 
Honestly, team of the season has been three out of ten so far. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree. I, uh, I agree. Some people would say that's toxic or it's the community not being grateful, but I, uh, I, I agree. I'd put it, I'd put it there too, for sure. Without weeklies, it'd be zero out of ten. Also fair. Also fair. So we got one walkout today. A man of the match walkout. I guess that's something. Oh no, two walkouts, I guess. The Saudi League Team of the Season SBC as well. Yay. Yay. Dude, I can't wait. Today's title for today's video is going to be... Oh my god! Amazing Saudi League Team of the Season SBC! Thanks, EA! That is exactly going to be my title. And I can't wait. Also, I think I should sell off these players, man. Should I not? I should, dude. I really should. I'm like, I, I've got, I think, two pages now of 84s. Maybe three pages of 84 or higher players that are duplicate. Yeah. How many people do you think would click this video, dudes? That's going to be the title, by the way. And it's going to be a walkout Saudi League Team of the Season card on the boards with me going like this on the, th on the thumbnail. It's going to be great. I'm going to get at least 1,000 views. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. 1.5 million views for sure. Oh, no. I got to put him up there. There we go. Save 84s for the EPL SBC. I think it's going to be above that, man. I really do but yeah what we'll do is like when they release the the sbc i'll go to the trade pile and just say all right which which ones do we need to we uh, let me take a picture of all of this and how many more do we do i said i was gonna do half now right okay five more so we're gonna do five more of these packs then play our next champs game which undoubtedly is gonna just be a loss but that's okay i'm just gonna try and play my best fifa i can and go from there we'll get stream sniped and youtube video sniped it'll be great Saudi team of the season will go up when the BPL comes out? Probably. Just because you'll need like two SBC. I think you'll need two. Honestly, going all in on Saudi League Blues right now might be amazing. Oh, Nep just built on my tweet as well. Oh, I love it. Nep is just so much more eloquent in, in his tweets than I am. Uh, so Nep basically wrote... Um, hold on. Let me... I'll, I'll show you guys... Uh... Show you guys what Nep wrote versus what I wrote. So obviously you guys saw my tweet, right? -da 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 -da. Why are we going backwards? Last year we got two main league team of season SBC sets. This year one. Last year we got tons of repeatable upgrade packs. 81 plus league specific packs from SBCs to keep us engaged. This year, nothing. Uh, just FIFA point spending. Now, that's maybe a little bit toxic. I didn't need to put that in there, right? But anyways, here we go. Love that. Um, damn, Mario is 17 and 1. GG. So last year, two cheap team of the season SBCs from every major league. One team of the season SBC from each West of the World set. Thumbs up. Last year, league specific upgrade packs. Thumbs up. This year, one minor league SBC, one major league SBC. This year, zero upgrade packs. Loads of overpriced SBCs for you. Yep. 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 Uh, team of the season last year you gave us repeatable SBCs because community feedback what made you think we didn't also want them this year again again facts 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 with all the X's oh damn I love it I love when Nep goes in I love it when dad goes in it makes me moist makes me moist in my loins it's funny I know I'm not seeing any game changers really 
saying anything. Now, is that because they are more intelligent than me and Nep and know not to go in uh, on EA? Or number two, is it because they've been told like, hey, something's coming? So again, because me and Nep don't know anything and neither does the rest of the community, we call out EA, but other people, maybe they just know that something is coming already, right? Maybe that's what it is. I do, dude, I saw Dave Myler. I mean, again, I don't know if going about that, going about it that way is the best thing in the world to do, but I saw Dave Myler roast a couple of uh, game changers for, for basically pretending like they want to make changes in the game. But then Dave was like, I was at all the round tables where we give feedback and you said nothing ever. And just happily we're going at events and, and enjoying the events and stuff like that. Um, now, again, I think that just causes way more drama doing all that stuff publicly. I think it's better to do stuff like that privately. But, uh, you know, that's just me. People can keep people can go about doing those things how they want. And I got to respect Dave for at least calling it out. So it's not like just me and Nep that are that are that are going on about this stuff you know for sure i think the name game changers is a big mistake I think a lot of people have admitted that as well. I think Game Changers is not a fair name for the group. I said that months and months and months ago. I, that's not fair. Based off of what I know, how in the dark all the Game Changers are, and based off of what I know about all the feedback that Game Changers give and them getting no answers Amen. at all and being told nothing, it's very unfair on all those content creators that are in the Game Changer network um, and want to cause change because it's not a game it's just not a game it's not there it's not they're not changing the game they're not unfortunately um uh i skinner thank you very much for the prime man welcome real vitanita Vi real vita vitanov thank you for the six smith dem thank you for the two appreciate you uh, love your content, love your honesty, breath of fresh air. Watching someone is just very real and relatable. Yeah, I mean, I could be more tactical with how I complain. I think maybe that's the um, that's the one thing I do incorrectly, you know? That's an inform? Okay. Come on, don't be a duplicate at least. I don't think it is a duplicate. Hey, Batch. Okay, so that will probably get used for you, Sabio. I have wanted to break my control, but thanks to you, I have packed the best Scottish player I wanted. He look at this. Um, Jack boy, I'll have to look at it after I'm done recording, my dude. Congratulations, man. I would assume that uh, you got Robo or Robo. Weird. I just, again, I'm trying to think in my head, like in a positive light. This is what I'm trying to do right now, right? Because I know I can come across relatively toxic. In my head, I'm trying to think, okay, put yourself in EA's business shoes. Where is the benefit and where's the mentality of not pushing out the same type of beneficial stuff that they did last year again this is just me thinking in their side did they look at the numbers last year and say okay we made a lot of money off of fifa point sales in fifa 18 team of the season but it could have been better with how many people flooded into the game last year we gave them too much to do repeatable sbcs look at everybody packing great players from those two Premier League, two main league team of, the, uh, team of the season SBCs that were too cheap. Two uh, off-league SBCs or one rest of the world SBC that was really cheap. That stopped a lot of people from spending any money on FIFA points. So this year, we're going to do it different. We're going to do a little bit less into all of those things. So that, and then, but still release amazing team of the seasons. Still make them very hard to pack. And then release a lot of promotions through the store to try and drive sales. And I, that is not me being toxic. I'm genuinely putting my mind in like an EA business exec. And that's got to be what they thought. Right? Am I wrong in saying that? that that's got to be the way they're thinking. It's just that last year, maybe we thought they made good money off of FIFA points, but based off of their projections, based off of how many users were on the game during Team of the Season, it makes me think that maybe they didn't make as much money as they thought they they should. Uh, cup, uh, cup of coffee. Thank you for the seven. Whale King. Thank you for the eight. What I can see is EA getting uh, more and more money hungry for cash every year. It's screwing up the game. Yeah, 
look, I'm the first person to call out that stuff, right? It's just like, I, I guess I'm just not surprised by it, man. Right? I'm just not surprised by it. It's a business, dude. The, 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 the FIFA Ultimate Team franchise has carried EA, the entirety of EA, for the last decade. Now, in recent years, they've acquired some huge money makers. Apex was, you know, balling out. There's a lot, of, yeah, even Madden and stuff have started to earn them good money and whatever. But year in, year out, over the last decade, FIFA Ultimate Team has floated the profits from game sales and FIFA point sales year in, year out since FIFA 09. You could see even through all their financial statements, has floated the rest of EA, has done everything else. Uh, in terms of EA things have changed a little bit as I've said earlier I, I think they're making good money off of a bunch of other titles and franchises now um, but it's just it's crazy that even when they're doing so much better across other titles it's like FIFA Ultimate Team is just seen as the cash cow and I, I feel bad I say this all the time so I apologize for repeating myself but I feel bad for the developers and the producers that are just like me and you they're working a nine to five job. They love Ultimate Team. They're probably just as passionate as we are about the game and making the game better. But whatever changes and improvements and cool shit they want to do, it all gets stopped by someone much higher up than them saying, no, this is what we're doing. This is where the finances are going to. This is where the money is going to be driven into to earn more money. And then in terms of gameplay and stuff like that, whatever, we're going to drive that into FIFA 20 from here forward, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's, it's too bad, man. Must be really, really tough for uh, the guys that, you know, are, are on the front lines. And I feel so bad oftentimes for them because the community just shits on them when they're the wrong people that, that are trying to make this game as good as possible. It's super unfortunate, man. Uh, Billy Mulligan, thank you for the 20. Nick is the best, I don't know about that, the best at complaining and the best at losing games in FUD Champs, maybe. Uh, cup of coffee, thank you for the seven. Again, got you, Jackie boy, Scouse Dat, Scouse, Scouse Ammo, and Smit Dem. Thank you guys again. Appreciate the support. Yeah. Change gotta come. Uh, change gotta come from up top for sure. Yeah, like even if I'm gonna run a rich man RTG next year, um, I'm gonna do that all for content and shit. But I, I think, man. I'll probably make a stand tail end of the year again. Like, if, if, if team of the season is like this, I'm not loading, even next year, I don't care if I'm running a rich man RTG. I'm not going to be loading hundreds of thousands of FIFA points in fucking May, seven to eight months into a game, even if I am on a rich man account. I don't give a fuck. Like, at that point, launch of the game, okay, that's all content. It's a new game. We all have hopes for a good new beginning. Um, and obviously, for a rich man account, I want to have the best possible team so I can have fun in champs and compete in Division 1 and all of that shit. But come May? If it's been seven months of lackluster gameplay and seven months of lackluster content promotions, I'm, you bet your ass, doesn't matter what account I'm on. I'm not going to load up points. I'm just not, man. Now, does that would that make me even next year a hypocrite because I did it at the start of the year? Probably. I think anybody that slates other content creators when they've either bought the current game, spent time on the current game, or spent a ton of FIFA points at the start of the year, ha ha ha, here's looking at certain specific people. If you're one of those people and you're right now slating content creators for spending money on the game, ya fucking hypocrite, all right? Ya fucking hypocrite. Because there's tons of guys out there that... and. Even FIFA players and people that are part of this community, not even content creators, says that sit there and are abusing content creators for spending spending money on the game when they are as well. Or they did at the start. It was ridiculous. The only people, and that's why I'm saying, even going into next year, will I have the right to make a stand come team of the season next year of not spending money on the game and telling you guys to not spend money on the game when I would have spent a ton of money in the first couple of months of the game. No, I'm mad enough to admit that that would be pretty fucking hypocritical of me. In fact, that's why I even say right now, even though I for five years have showed you guys a road to glory and how not Amen. to spend money on the game, it's still hypocritical of me for criticizing anybody that spends money on the game. It just is. It is. And if people can't realize that, they've lost their goddamn mind. The only people that can sit there and criticize 
me or any other content creator, both running a road to glory or not, is someone that has just didn't buy FIFA 19, put their foot down, made a stand, didn't buy FIFA 19, and or did not buy any FIFA points at all and put any time into the game. That's the only person that can sit there and abuse other content creators or abuse people in the community for spending time or money on the game. Is that right or wrong? Is that right or wrong? Why am I doing the rich man then? Because this is my job and I can do whatever the fuck I want. Now, I realize that upsets people, but at the end of the day, I want my experience in this game to be enjoyable. If my experience in the game is enjoyable, it makes my content enjoyable, I think, at least for streams and for YouTube. This is my job. I can do whatever the fuck I want because I still enjoy other parts of the game as well. Now, I'm still going to criticize EA when gameplay is terrible. I'm still going to criticize EA when their promos are terrible. But that doesn't mean that A, I don't make a living off of playing this game. Hey, batch. I do. And B, that also doesn't mean I don't enjoy other parts of this game. In 2006, there's a great video by Scale Up on YouTube about all this. I mean, I think I cover it well enough, Phil Hig. Um, but thank you for the 400 bits, dude. Joe Bunier, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you, man. God bless. Much love. So whenever people are like, oh, but then, dude, like, why don't you, like, if, if you have such a problem with this, or you always talk about EA, why are you running a rich man next year? How do people not notice? Like, how do people not understand? I, at the end of the day, this is my job. Period. Now, over the last five years, I've chosen to do my job without benefiting EA monetarily in terms of FIFA points, right? Running a road to glory year in, year out, year in, year out, year in, year out. But it doesn't change anything. It doesn't. And and then people are like, oh, well, why don't you just do something else? Well, I enjoy this game. Why the fuck would I do something else? I hate people when they say that. Oh, but dude, like, if you have such a problem, just stop playing it. I like this game. Why the fuck would I stop playing it if I like this game? If I want to enjoy this game, why would I stop playing any part of it? I enjoy it. In fact... The change comes from when you constantly call out and ask for changes, not just stop entirely. Now, for you guys, if that makes sense for you to completely give up on the game, fair play. Fair play. If that's the route you want to go, stop the, and, and take your dollars elsewhere, that's fair. I, I've also said that in the past. That's a good way for a large majority of people to get EA to listen is if you give up completely on the game. But for me, I like this game. I like this game so much that I want every part of it to be as good as it can be which is why i criticize it so much but in the past i've got i fucked off and played fortnite in the past i've fucked off and done other things so as well when people say oh go do other things i have where were you fucking all of last year when i for six months straight was playing fortnite like eight to ten hours a day on stream and ironically got more viewers and had more subs back then than i even do right now I love when people try to criticize content creators, but they just magically forget and miss and leave out all of, like, the main points of everything. And just say, oh, well, you're still playing this game right this second. You spent money on this game right now, so you're, you're, you're a piece of shit. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Uh, it's the same thing, like, if someone would criticize me for spending a few hundred dollars a month for strings on tennis rackets. I mean... It, it obviously, making comparisons like that, you gotta, you, I, I, you can make better comparisons. But sure, you can, you can make anything, anything like that. I just, what I don't like is certain content creators are going out of their way to abuse other content creators for what they are doing. It's just so asinine, especially when according to your own critiques of other content creators, you are part of the problem when someone has spent thousands of dollars on the game and put in thousands of hours into the game they have no right to criticize how other content creators run their shit they just don't it's hypocritical it's asinine it really is it's silly and it gets nothing done it gets nothing achieved i repeat to what i said last week God, fucking our whole community is attacking each other, bro. Why? 
fucking attack and concentrate on, and not even attack's not even the right word, concentrate on talking to the one orb that matters. And if you think you need to make a movement of getting people to stop playing the game, of course he quits because he's fucking not home. Um, if you need to make a movement to get your community and yourself stop playing the game and stop spending money on FIFA points, then go for it. If that's what you think is best, then go for it. FIFA 20, don't buy the game. If that's the stand you want to make, go for it. FIFA 20, don't spend money on FIFA points. Go for it. If that's the stand that you think will make a change, go for it. I'm not against that, if that's what you want to do. It's just going after each other gets nothing done, man. And it just honestly it makes certain people look like clout chasers and, and virtue signalers. Hey, let me attack this content creator because he spends a lot of money on the game. I'm going to get everybody to attack them. Okay. Well. But you've done all of that. Are we ignoring that? Just blows my mind. Holy shit. Nice team, dude. Alright, well. Let's see how we do here, bros. Win or lose? Doesn't matter. It's just one game. <clears throat> Nothing within a billion dollar company happens by accident. You're very right, man. You're very right, my dude. Very, very, very correct. Alright, I apologize for the next 15 minutes. Uh, I'm most likely going to be very toxic. I'm giving you fair warning. Side, thank you. Oh, that first touch is so heavy, brother. Nice turn. Oh, I'm trying to play that ball to Dino, dude. How does Messi whiff the pass? Silly, man. You see him trying to make the pass, but he just did it without the ball? That was fucking weird. Good pass. Really good pass. Really, okay. I don't know how he made that third pass. That's a goal. So annoying, dude. Oh. My whole team just stands around doing nothing, man. Kills me. And it's with Ronaldo. Look at that, man. Look at the passes that he makes versus the passes that I don't make. This tackle gets the ball back and probably two nothing. Nobody gets a corner out of it. Why is my team so disheveled, man?
All right, nice try. It just deselected me for Dino. Wow, Dino. I had to shoot there, dudes. You see how quickly his left back caught up to me there, even though Dino was in about 25 yards of open space? Ref. I mean, that's a foul, ref. Someone shoves your back and your player falls over and loses possession. In most footballing worlds, that's a fucking foul. Not to EA, though. Proving the superstitions of Canadians know nothing about football, I guess. There you go. El Tornado past the defender. First time shot. 2-0. Love it. Love it. Bro, fuck this game. Honest to God, man. How does he not even get that on target, bro? Ah. Ah, nice tackle. <laughs> it just sends Bobby Firmino in on net. Amazing. Amazing gameplay. I love it. I fucking love it. And I get fouled and it goes out of bounds. <sighs> Should have played one more pass to Leo Messi. He was in on net there. That's bad awareness. Hey, dude, do you like uh, uh, La Croquetas or nah? Are they fun? Yes, they are. Pass. <clears throat> Gameplay's been especially bad this weekend. It's always this bad, dudes. It's all in our head when we say stuff like that. Gameplay is always terrible. It's never good. Or like 10% of the time it's good. When people tell me, oh my god, this weekend is specifically the worst gameplay ever. No, it's not. It's always shit, dude. The difference is, is maybe this weekend you just came up against more of the fucking um, uh, game mechanic of using twats. Which is everybody. I mean, fucking, you know, that's not direct shots at anybody specifically, but... That's a tap in too. That's I think the only difference that is happening right now. Lots more people on the servers, so maybe there's a little bit more delay than normal. But there's always delay in this game. Uh, mechanics are always fucked in this game. But specific now, if I miss this, I'm gonna be irritated because that was a tap in for Johan Croy for whoever I played the ball to there. He watches the stream. He knows I fake left and go uh, go right, which is why he dove right. 100%. 100%. Um, which is why I went faked left and then went left. <clears throat> Ozzy boys. Love to see it, man. Hit gold two, so I get a red BPL team of the season card. Yup, enjoy your team of the season, Madison, my dude. I mean, that's just... Just highly likely for what we're all gonna get. Hey, man. Look at that AIDS pass. And from kickoff, should be 3 1 down. That's an outrageous pass. Well, if that one had gone in, it would have 
got a much different complexion on this match. No worries. Juan Bissaka getting held up there. Why does the game feel so much faster and better for me right now? Like, it feels so good. Like, it feels so good. And R9 just whiffed an open net rebound. Oh, that's tough. But yeah, the gameplay feels so much better this second half. I don't know why. Or not. Just kidding. What the fuck is going on, man? Oh, bro, my, my players are reacting so quick right now. That just fouled this player, no call. This is interesting. This is, this is just because I'm trying harder, guys. This is for sure just because I'm trying harder, dudes. I'm concentrating more right now than I was in the first half, dudes. Right, guys? I'm totally just concentrating more. That's why my players are moving better. Um, you know, the bounces, the tackles, the plays... Everything is crisper. His players are falling all over the place. For sure. Now it's up to me to take advantage of this, which is the problem. I don't think I'll, I'm good enough to be able to do that, but maybe. Maybe. I'm just trying harder, guys, right? I'm on the exact same tactics. No style of play changes, nothing. But uh, apparently I'm trying harder. Okay, R9 didn't even register that that pass was at him. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. It's a great ball wide. Holy shit. I can't even select hold it. Ugh. This game. Tackle. Disgusting game. What is... That's my fault, man. R9 fucked all of it. What are these passes? Oh! I just fouled this player there. Dude, I'm fucking telling... I'm trying harder, guys. Guys, I'm just trying harder. I'm telling you, man. My team feels like they're all on 99 fucking attribute cards right now. I'm not making this shit up. Whether or not I get a win out of this, it's not... That's, that's something else. Because that comes down to my mentality. If I shut the fuck up and just play the game and ignore the stupid bullshit. And if I had decent mentality, I'd be able to make this work for me right now. Um, problem is, is I don't. I'm terrible. How does that's offside? Oh, wow. Oh, it was. But I can happily tell you guys that this gameplay, the way my team is moving, is about 35 times better than it was the first half. I'm not doing anything different, guys. I promise, man. His players are all over the place, man. Genuinely! I mean, I... I could do nothing in that first half. And now my players are playing how they normally should be playing. What a fucking goal, Jesus Christ. Now again, this guy's had plenty of kickoff boosts. He hasn't been able to convert them yet. Um, but now, ironically, I feel like my most likely my team's gonna change now. Oh no, I'll probably just score from kickoff. What a tackle, boys, good shit. Good shit, boys. Why is Messi number 16? I'm not sure, I've got a few of my players um, uh, everything is like screwed up right now with my players. 61% possession. Holy God. <sighs> Alright. It's gonna be 16 minutes of hell, dudes. I have a sneaking suspicion that now my team is gonna start falling through the floor. <clears throat> There's nothing to do with how you play. What a boring game. That's what I'm... Oh God. I gotta pay attention here. It's cool. Instantaneously. Good tackle. Of course. Guess what, though? Phases him into better position to shoot there. 
Fantastic defensive tackle there. Look at that. Two of my players phase out of the way and he gets that shot off. I know this gets boring for you guys to hear me whinge about everything, but... I don't really know why I still bitch about everything. It's not going to change anything in the game. I should just shut the fuck up. They just ran away from that pass. That was a bit scary. Dude, yep, here we go. Here we go. No changes? There you go, bros. No changes at all. But my team is completely falling apart. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so predictable. It's disgusting. Taking heavy, stupid touches now. Yep. Ugh. So now it's whether or not I can struggle through uh, this slow-ass gameplay. No, nope, we're fucked. We're fucked. The simple passes now are getting completely fucking intercepted instantly. Come on, boys. Really concentrate here. See what I mean? The passes I was making earlier, all getting intercepted now. 81 minutes. How do I close this out, dudes? Do I have to play like a twat? I think even if I play like a twat, he's going to get one or two opportunities here. I don't have options, really. Very lucky pass. I deserve to concede here. Such a big mistake. I have to do that. I have to. I have to. I might still concede here, but I had to do that, man. If I don't, if I don't take a red card there, I, I no matter what, I'm conceding. I had to do that. That was my fault there for sure. That passing option there, where I tried to play back to Maldini, such a silly passing option. But here we go. All right, buddy. Let's see what you got here. If he scores this fair play, he deserves it. There you go. There you go. That's now game over, 100%. I got a man down. What do I do here now? Howled in the back. No call. It's game over, dude. Fuck this game, dude. What do I do with that, dudes? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, there's absolutely nothing I can do there, man. I'm not good enough to overcome that in any way. Nothing I can do there. Do the right tackle there. Take the red card. Still just plows it into the net from the free kick. Three seconds later, gets another counterattack. I go for the tackle, but my player falls over, and then his De Rossi just goes in on net. So, it is what it is, man. This guy deserved the win. I'm not too upset about it, man. I'm so just over this game uh, in terms of gameplay. Noodle, thank you for the 24 months, Tier 2. Vincent, thank you for the 23. Dylan, thank you for the 3. Uh, Milo, thank you for the 16. Walshy, thank you for the 4. Will, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate you. He's a kid with the gold and I love how you can call everything, we can all see it, but yet some people will still defend this actual gameplay. You know what, man? I, I just think some people don't play this game enough to see uh, or feel the flaws in the game. So then when they, because they don't understand how the game functions, they then watch a content creator or, or maybe one of their friends sitting complaining about the game and they'll just say, oh, well, you just deserve to lose that. You're terrible. You, you deserve to lose that. You shouldn't have taken the red card. You know? So it is what it is, man. I, I I don't even get upset anymore at people that sit there and just send abuse either. It's, it's, for lack of a better word uh, or sentence, it is what it is, period. So uh, whatever, man. Still got a few games to clutch up gold to. Um, here, uh, here's hoping we can. <clears throat> Hawk, thank you for the thank you for the three. 
Mule, thank you for the 25. If I missed any of you guys during that game, my apology. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah, I'm not. Like, that guy deserved to, to, to win. He played the game fair. Uh, he was a good FIFA player. He knew all the tactics of the game. Knew how to press. Knew how to defend. Knew how to, you know, score really intricate, like, in-the-box goals. It's uh, it's all good. It's all good. I'd rather lose to uh, to someone like that than uh, the moron that we beat earlier that was just crossing the ball infinitely to prime moments best in Cristiano Ronaldo and still took a loss to us. I'd rather lose to that guy that I just took an L to. How did De Rossi outpace your Alonso? I don't know, dude. People will say uh, end of the game and Alonso was tired. My question is, how does Alonso just not win possession there? I go to get the ball and Alonso falls over and then that puts De Rossi in on net. Oh well. Tough part is this next game will have to uh pour me. We're gonna have to use Rio. Haven't you I haven't used Rio in forever, man. Oh no. What a disadvantage. Instead of prime moments Maldini, I have to use prime Rio Ferdinand. How's R9 doing for me? The whole team is great, dude. It, it it's at this point in the game, it's not my team, dude. It's me. I'm not losing games because of my team. That's anybody. Anybody that has a god squad that tries to blame their team, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm sure in the heat of the moment, I've done that at times. Uh, but it's you being a bad FIFA player, period. And when I say that, people will take that out of context because obviously I'm losing all the time with this team. But it's you being a bad FIFA player in terms of the meta. And you being a bad FIFA player in terms of mentality. Because... These guys that beat me and you, they may have God squads as well, but guess what? They're beating us. The difference is they have a better mentality than us. Maybe they get a little bit luckier, but the difference is too, is that they capitalize on that luck and they abuse the meta. They're a better FIFA player than me. Now, I disagree with you. You have to take into consideration that people have better connection to the servers. No, no, no. That that is that is absolutely part of it as well, for sure, for sure, definitely. I I, I agree. I, I agree. That is something that can't be ignored. But still, other people will play in shit gameplay as well, and will get results, right? I think specifically in the Americas. Did I just get kicked out of the game? Oh, I'm getting banned. I think we talked too much about EA. What the hell just happened there? Dude, watch them, like, show my email and shit like that. Hey, bro, uh, here. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is this? <laughs> huh? Okay. I can confirm I'm not a bot. So that's a good, that's a good start. Flip the dog. Yeah, it was, it was flip. It was dog. It was dog. We were dog flipping, dude. Sorry. I always get worried that they're going to like show your, uh, your, your like information and shit. Lord knows I've had that happen a few times when my accounts get hacked. Pops up. Hey, is this your email and your home address and your phone number? Oh, well, uh, the stream has all that info now. Thanks, EA. God bless. Hey, Mr. Hacker that's calling in pretending to be Nick2018. So, Mr. Hacker, is this not your phone number? They give my exact number, and then the hacker's like, no, it's not. And they're like, oh, let us change that in your two-step verification then. If that isn't your phone number in two-step verification, let's change it for you, Mr. Hacker. Oh, Mr. Hacker, is this not your password? No, it's not. Okay, let's change that for you. Oh, cool. Thank you, EA Help. You guys are so great. Amazing. Dude, I used to get spam calls all the time in FIFA 14 and 15 because EA employees would constantly give my phone away to hackers. L constantly. And yet, their community managers and a few of their employees had the audacity back then to say I was lying about being hacked. Oh, God. Uh, myself and EA have a pretty rough past, man. That's for damn sure. That is for damn sure. 
fuck's sakes, twice I got hacked live on stream, live while recording for YouTube, and yet I was lying about being hacked. Okay, sure. Well, I suppose EA help does help, just the wrong people. True, true. See, I knew it wasn't even going to be a blue. I don't even care, dude. Unless it's a 90 Chiellini, then I care. Okay. <laughs> that helps. Hopefully we get a player of the year Mbappe that I can grind. That can help me towards my losses in Weekend League. So that's what? Three walkouts today? Yeah, that Mbappe I will do 100%. Uh, okay, so there's no, there's no La Liga players. Zaro's much better than past community managers. Zaro is a sweetheart. Zaro is a great fucking guy, dude. He's doing everything he can, man. I have, I have absolutely no problem with any of the current EA community managers, any of the d community uh, producers, developers, gameplay guys. They're all fucking sweethearts. Trust me when I say that, man. Trust me. I, I talk to, a, and this is not me flexing in any way, but I do talk to a lot of those guys in DMs and stuff, and they are doing everything they can. My upsetness with the way this game is run goes to EA at the top. Me being um, abused and, and targeted and attacked is from EA employees from the past, not, not current guys. Current guys have even apologized for that shit that they did in the past as well. Um, so I, I got no problem against the, the, the current dudes, dude. It's, it's, it's the much, much higher ups that I think, unfortunately, those guys have to answer to, uh, which causes a lot of the confusion and dysfunction in this game, which is very unfortunate, but Zaro, um, et cetera, are, are absolutely fantastic. Such good guys. Zara's doing great, but sell someone is telling the people, someone up top is, is prohibiting those managers from talking or answering important questions. I don't know. I, 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 that, that's all speculation. I, I have no idea. I have, I have no idea. I, I make those speculations as well, man. It's just, that's why it feels like a lot of the things that are so obvious that can be fixed and changed, um, don't. And I, and I mean, it's pretty easy to surmise that that comes from the top. It has to. I mean, nothing else would make sense, really. All right, a few more of these packs. I don't know if we're getting a blue, dudes. I don't know. I don't know if we're... I mean, we are. Well, we did get a blue, but I mean, I don't think... I think I'm going to go this entire week. We'll have opened over a 1,000 packs for the Premier League team of the season. I don't think I'm hitting a blue, dudes. I just... It's just not going to happen, man. Uh, Z, Quickster, thank you for the 15. Hope all is well. Good luck with the rest of your Champs games. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Oh, I got tweeted by that guy as well. Oof. Oh, there you go. There you go. So GG's, bro. He deserved to win. Man, in hindsight, that last three minutes of that game, if I didn't try to play that pass back to Maldini or uh, Virgil van Dyke, and I just turned and tried to run it into the corner, I would have won that game. That's insane. One decision. And that's my fault. Sure, the game is coded for me to concede at the end there. Your players fall apart, your whole team, even though you're on ultra defensive. Did you see my whole squad in the final 10 minutes of the game? That is a one depth, everybody drop back tactic. What was my team doing at the end of the game there? All in the 18 yard box of my opponent. So the game is 100% coded for you to concede. But at the end of the day, I, me, I was the, I was the, what's the right word? Antithesis? Maybe that's the right word. That's maybe like almost a, a too high end word. But I was the cause of that. I decided to turn back. I panicked a bit. I forced the ball back to my center back. Of course, my center back steps away. His attacker, his Ebra, steps into the way, intercepts the ball, knocks over my center back, sends the ball in. I slide tackle and foul his player because that's the only option I had because it was literally a one on three. Would have been a tap in anyways. Gets red carded, gets a free kick, plows it into the net, and the rest is history. But at the end of the day, that whole thing originated from my mistake. And that's one thing that I, uh, I I tend to have a tough time admitting that I need to be better at. Is yes, this game is broken, but at the end of the day, everybody deals with broken gameplay. 
everybody's dealing with the same same type of game and it's up to me to be able to overcome that or not play right because i mean if it really pisses me off enough i just like i can just not play right so whatever man it's all good i'm hoping i can clutch out gold too and uh next week we'll try and do better next week we'll try and improve I mean, as of right now, I'm only on 16 wins. So here's hoping for the next episode, because we're coming to the tail end of this episode, hoping for next episode, uh, I can show you guys that we got gold too, and we have a shit ton of repeatable packs to do. If not, we'll do the Serie A or the Bundesliga again uh, next, like next week. But just so you guys know as well, the next upcoming video will be uh, stream highlights, right? So today is Sunday fun day. Monday, I'm going to take a day off. I'm going to take Steph and the kids to the beach. We're going to, I'm going to get the fuck away from FIFA 19 because this has been a very rough week. I've spent 15 hours a day on this game. I've played anywhere from 10 or 15 games a day of division one. We'll have played through all of our games in foot champs and I just need a fucking day away. So tomorrow there won't be any like up-to-date content. If EA drop like repeatable SBCs tomorrow, unfortunately you guys are just going to get a, uh, a stream highlights video of the insane shit that happened this past week and then tuesday will be the next live uh first owner road to glory recording so whether we get the premier league sbc the infinite packs whatever it is i just i need a day off tomorrow man i'm gonna go to the beach and just stare at the ocean i was saying that on stream today <laughs> if i bottle gold too i'm going to stare into the ocean and contemplate my life as a fifa content creator don't expect anything from EA tomorrow. It, yeah, it's a holiday in Canada tomorrow. It's Victoria Day uh, tomorrow. So, yeah, I mean, based on previous years, it's a holiday. So, there might there might be nothing tomorrow. Imagine a Player of the Year CR7 SPC. I would do it. I would do that so fast my dick would fall off. I would do it so fast. <laughs> this is so fast. All right, let's get these final four packs in. Again, dudes, uh, apologies for the toxicity of that game. Uh, apologies for the crying uh, about the lack of SBCs and the terrible content drop uh, at the start of the video. I guess there's a lot of apologies for, for today's episode, but I hope you guys have a lovely Sunday, uh, rest of your Sunday. And uh, I hope you guys have a lovely day tomorrow. Hopefully the stream highlights video is enjoyable for you guys, and we'll be back on Tuesday, man. And fingers crossed EA sorted out and get the content right for us man and you know what if i don't get a blue walkout here in these final four packs i will open one of the promo packs as well so we'll try and we'll try and as much as possible um so i can use him for the past and present barca team past and present barca team is looking really fucking good i need to craft a uh, prime moments puyol and we need to get lucky and get a Busquets and or a Vidal at some point. And then the past and present Barca squad is, is donezo. So let's see. Final four packs. Come on. Premium goal player. Prime goal player. Small prime goal player. Prime Electrum. Okay. Unbelievably, the prime Electrums are usually the craziest pack. So I'm going to go premium goal players. So that's a 25k pack. Then we'll go with the small prime. Then we'll do the prime. Then we'll go the prime Electrum. Damn. Nick, you make me happy? I, dude, I'm honored. I tend to bitch and moan a lot. So the fact that people enjoy my content still makes me happy. It really, really, really does. Ethan's going to a birthday party. He's so excited, man. Mila and Steph are going out on a girl's day. They're getting their nails done. And you know what, dudes? God bless you guys, man. You guys allow me to make sure my family is leading a lovely life. And as much as I bitch and moan about FIFA 19, that's exactly why I continue to play this game. It earns me a living, thank God, but also I have you guys supporting me. And the least I can do is continue to play the game that we all love. And that helps me keep a roof over my family's head and I'll let them have a good life. But thank you guys, I appreciate that. Both to YouTube and chat, because you guys get to watch me at my best and at my worst. YouTube, for the most part, gets me at my best, which is pretty crazy considering some of the dog shit uploaded content that I put to YouTube, but is what it is man i'm uh, i'm grateful so that yeah that's spain too so he won't sell wow yeah the la liga the sorry the main league players have really really 
really gone uh, through the roof, man. People grinding League SBCs now more than ever. All right. Prime player pack, Prime Electrum pack. We don't get a blue walkout. We'll go do a promo pack to end, thing, end things off. <laughs> oh, where is my pack luck today? Actually, pack luck today has been all right. What did we get? A 90 Chiellini. That's not bad from doing a League SBC. We got the a, a decent team of the season, right? A SPL 87 walkout. So that was good. And then I had one other walkout. Who was the other walkout, dudes? Do you guys remember? I don't remember. Who the heck was the other walkout? We've had three walkouts today. Oh, the man of the match. The, the, the 84 rated man of the match walkout. Correa. Yeah, thank you guys. Fuck. It's pretty shit, isn't it? I don't know what I'm going to title this video. Honestly, probably the, oh my God, amazing Saudi League SBC. Thank you, EA. Incredibly non-sarcastic. Damn it. I have to sit there and open a promo pack. RIP our coins, dude. <clears throat> oh my god shit packs shit pack luck shit shit content shit gameplay come watch my video everybody dear god i hope people understand the comedy and the sarcasm otherwise my videos must be seen as just very depressing and toxic oh my god whoa lightning round oh my god amazing Blech. all right 100k spent dudes this is 20 something dollars Bro, you're fucking kidding me, dude. <laughs> really? See, oh my god. Ew, dude. Okay, I'll do... I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'll do one more. I'll do uno mas. I'll do... Oh, I shouldn't. I... Oh my god. I'll do... Oh. I'll do one more, okay? I'll do uno mas. I don't know why. I am a moron. And we're just lighting our money on fire. I've opened so many promo packs with coins this, this week, man. Um, Gone, gone. Sell. Uh, Gone. Sell. Gone. Gone, 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 gone gone none of those guys sell for much and if they do oh well all right r.i.p here we go dudes thank you so much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the video i'm doing my best dude what are these packs 40 dollars, bro suck your mommy a i'm out man i'm walking away i realize i'm a degenerate gambler but this is ridiculous get me out of here i'm out no no that's it man i'm no more no more mosses no more moss absolute no when to walk away dudes no when to walk away we'll catch you on the flip side peace